It's um, Maher, so ne- so right? Fonegity and Maher. Maher. Like Maher. 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 Hey, stop talking. Guys, I was saying stop. Oh. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one, go. And welcome, ladies and gentlemen. John Peters here with you from Frisco, Texas, as we are ready for the U.S. Youth Soccer National Championship match of the 14 and under boys. It is a team, two teams from in the east. Pittsburgh, the Beedling team. We'll announce those. My partner here, David Miguel, in just a moment. And I'll be announcing the team out of Mount Pleasant, South Carolina. David, tell us the starters here for Beedling, dressed in red. And now we have the starters for the Mount Pleasant squad, dressed in blue with the white numbers, white shorts. Head coach Sachin Patel, assisted by Ralph Lundy III and Larry Friedrich. And the goal is double zero, Jacob Jorgensen. Number two, Chase Kennedy. Number 12, Lance Friedrich. Number 17, Jake Zenz. Number 19, scoring a goal this week, Pedro Andrade. Number 22 is Ted Van Thulinar, also scoring a goal during the competition this week. Nicholas Uros, number 26, starting. Nicholas DeFazio, number 36. Kevin Pierre, wearing number 48, also scoring a goal. Number 56, Garrett Laney. And rounding out the starters, number 83, Michael Petrie, as these teams come together for this championship matchup. And the referee's ready to go. We are ready as well. As the sun fades behind us, the whistle blows and we begin. Ball moved through the middle of the field. And now going quickly the other way, we'll probably see a lot of work back and forth here in the midfield to start with and immediately a knee to the midsection. And we're going to have, we might see a card right off the bat here. David, I'm not sure when I talked to the coaches, they said this is going to be really a physical game. And there we go. He's going into the pocket and there's a yellow card already. Looks like he's tendering that left shoulder. Hopefully he's okay. And that's number 15, Ethan Sanders. He's all right. He's a tough one. He's uh, been booked here in about the first, what, 10 seconds? Yeah. (laughs) So we're at it. Let me move this cord out of the way. And uh, appreciate Nick Case, our producer here. Got to hear us preparing there just briefly a moment ago as we were going through some of the lineup. This will be a kick into the box. And starting it out well here for Mount Pleasant, here's the Right foot into the box, deep in the box. There's a header. It's going to go back. It'll be a corner coming up. That ball was initiated, that play by Pierre. And looks like he's trotting over to take the corner on the far side. He will be kicking it into the sun. If you have a corner on this side, David, the sun could be an issue. The wind seems to also be blowing uh, from the far side. We'll see it. Don't think it's going to be that much of an impact. Seems to be slowing down right now. Got a bunch of players near. The keeper gets you, so hopefully... If you're a Beedling fan, you can get a touch on this one. Ball low, coming in, headed, headed back in, trying to take it right back. Ball being headed around, now cleared out. Nicely, Nice job there by the Beedling defense. There's one player back, and they're going to send it right back in, trying to reverse field. Back and forth like a ping pong match here to start with. Already had a couple of set pieces for nice the Mount Pleasant squad. There. Ball out to the left, worked across. That's Jackson Irvin who sends it down. There's a shot, and it's going to go wide. Big foot put on that one by Anthony DeFalco. And the keeper for Mount Pleasant, Jacob Jorkinson, he's seeing the all orange. Easy to pick him out. (laughs) He's got the uh, Jorge Campos look going. Down here we have the green jersey and white shorts. Getze. Ball kind of trail into the bench here. It'll be a throw in. And the referee didn't realize it. A little karaoke move on the ball. Good close out there by Mason Fabian, the son of the head coach. There'll be a throw in. We're at the Toyota Soccer Center and uh, the MLS team playing right now as well. So great atmosphere here. Glad you folks are with us from South Carolina as well as the Pennsylvania West. Ball sent down toward the corner. Looked like it was touched at the last second. I'm not sure why there was a touch. Looked like it was going out. 
It'll be a Joseph throw Bustover in. Joseph playing it safe there. Had a chance to uh, speak to his is. mom before the game. Apparently he touched it after it went across the line. A little rotation here, cycling around. Ball in now, cleared up the pitch, now sent back in. Working around there is Sanders. A lot of contact. It'll go out, throw in by Irvin. Got a that fast pace already to this one. Very much so. Ball settled. Eldridge working with it. A lot of traffic coming the other way now. Mount Pleasant. That's number 22 working it up. That's Van Tholenar. Splits the defense. Still with it. Into the top of the box. Takes it to the right shot. And knocked down. Nobody there to get the rebound. Getsy in two occasions there making the save. Early opportunity for Mount Pleasant. That ball had good pace. It was not stopped. It was stopped, but not secured. And if the blue shirted Mount Pleasant team sees that, they will follow up those shots. Here's a ball worked in. Shot into the box. Cross there. And the big collision. And nice close out there by Panza. To another save there not by Getze. The, the forward to get all of the ball there. Ball sent forward over there by number 24. That's DeFalco. Ball up in the crowd. Good crowd here tonight. They're looking directly in the sun. And we have the distinct privilege of not looking in the sun here. <laughs> it's nice to have the shade at this time of night. Absolutely. There will be a water break. These are 35-minute halves. There will be a water break halfway through each of the halves. Heat index right around 100. Ooh. Ball sent in. That's going to be out over the fence going down the road and here will be a ball tossed in by official number four that allows us to tell you the center official is Justin St. Pierre AR number one Isaiah Vlad number two official referee assistant referee number two is Jesus Mejia and the fourth official Cynthia Vargas she'll be keeping track of substitutions also some of the timing as well as scoring here on the sidelines Making sure also that the water break, the water's ready when they do have the water break. Officials doing a great job this week. This group playing four teams in their group, and these teams very much defensive battles. That ball's going to be sent across. And we had another, looks like a head-to-head -head contact here. And, John, neither one of these teams giving up a goal during the group stages, so we could have a defensive struggle on our hands. That's number 21. That's Mason Fabian, coach's son, who took a hit to the head. Ball worked in. Good hustle in there by number 12. That's uh, Friedrich, coach of assistant coach's son as well. Looks like Panzer will put the ball in play. He'll set that ball down. Zach Panza served as one of the captains. It was interesting seeing the five captains coming out and representing the Beedling squad. Ball put out deep, wind once again, picking up a little bit, blowing from the far side of the field to the near side. As you're watching, it'll be into your face there on your computer screen. Ball bounding around. Back and forth we go, still getting a feel here. There's a ball that's gonna be through and just not a good touch, now touched. Here's a shot, let's see if they get it off, and they do, but Getsy's there. And makes the save. What a Pushed job. Over again. Nice closeout again. Not making it. Trying to make. To get a uh, full strength shot on that one. Yeah, Ted Van Tholenar working hard against two defenders. Waited way through the traffic. Ball sent up again. And ball sent up by Fabian. Worked over here to Pustover. Pustover. Oh, there's a ball right to the feet. A Mount Pleasant player now moved in, taken out to the right, now down toward the corner. A lot of contact turning and touched away. Let's see if they can stay with it. Good job by the defense. Recovered there by Pustover, making the mistake, but coming back to take the ball, to take the ball away again. Sanders, a big player out there. He's cleared that one in the middle to DeFalco. Now you have some hustling down the far side. Defense there, they'll send it into the crowd. And the uh, lucky fans over there get to touch the ball. I'm waiting to see a, we already have a substitute coming in. How about this? Referee Cynthia Vargas getting the attention of the center official out there, Justin St. Pierre. 
Well, I tell you what, a lot of connections here. We talked about that as our producer, Nick Case, originally from Pittsburgh, now lives in Charleston. And uh, my son going to college with uh, Coach Fabian, one of the, or Fonegi, actually, Matt Fonegi. And uh, I live on James Island, not too far from Mount Pleasant as well, there in South Carolina. So that's why they're picking up on this accent, David. You, you, you got to invite me out there sometime. You come on, man. We'll have some <laughs> shrimp. We'll go to the crab house. Sounds good. Ball down the side, now brought out toward the midline, the midfield line now moving up and putting it back in is Fabian. Haven't had much of a run in there yet by Beedling. They've played some good defense, however. And if you talk to Coach Fabian, which I know you did, uh, good, big, big defensive emphasis on this team. Definitely. Team only scored one goal throughout the week, and here they are in the finals. 1-0 uh, victory, and then two 0-0 zero, zero draws. You have a good uh, defense, you have a chance, and that's why Beedling is in the final here tonight. I've, uh, the old saying, and I know you've heard this, good offense wins games, but good defense wins championships. There you go. That ball sent out. Looks like we've got a corner coming up. A threat here. Do you see the crowd getting into it a little bit? The crowd will get even more excited if that sun will keep going down. The breeze feels wonderful out here. It's a beautiful night here in Dallas, and I tell you, we're just outside of Dallas, Frisco, home of the Dallas FC squad. They're actually playing as we speak in the big stadium. Here comes the ball, it's a low one, into the box, punched out. A low kick out of there, chasing it is Douglas, and now ball sent forward. Fabian now, he's the lone defender for a moment. I tell you what, the Blue Shirt team really putting some pressure on it, the USA MP team, and a foul call. They'll go the other way. Looks like uh, number one, that's Jackson Irvin working his way over. This could be a ball that's put in the box right here. Here comes the ball, sent into the box. Looks like it's going to be in the middle. There's some height in there, and it's going to be a race to the ball. They're going to be fighting for it. Let's see where it goes. Jorgensen will be able to pick it up. Always interesting to see the coach's response to the play. You know those opportunities, as we've seen today already, earlier today, a match that uh, featured just one goal in a grand total of 110 minutes of play. So every opportunity is golden. Working it up on the far side, number six is Samatov, who's checked in. A couple of subs already in for the Charleston team. Michael Petrie here up front. The far side is Friedrich. They're trying to get the ball to him. They will on the far side. He turns. Now working it in low, turns back. There's a pass into the box. And trying to get to it there was number 14. That's Beckham Volker. Oh, boy, that's some good work, good footwork there. The defense making good contact. Now they'll take it the other way. And they're going to take it at midfield. Might have a little bit of a break. Defense right there. Stride for stride is number 36. That's DeFazio. And we have the offside flag. The dreaded orange and yellow checkers. And let's see if that is, uh, that's number four, Panza, who puts the ball out. Ball sent up toward midfield, now bounding there, waiting for someone. I'll tell you what, number seven coming across, Joey Finnegy as a big kid. A couple of big kids on this beetling squad. That ball put right back to the feet of Michael Petrie. There it goes, Finnegy sending it right back. You talk about a ball returning quickly. Ball sent back to Fonegi. He has the only goal scored by this team. And going forward, let's see if the defense is able to clear it out. They do. Defensive struggle on both sides. More substitutes coming in. And so at the 17 minute or so, there will be a water break, of course. All fighting for the championship of the 14 and under 
division. Were you, I never even came close to a national championship, David. Or did, is that something that you ever were a part of or close? I was not, but I had a couple couple of friends who played oh, at the U14. That... It's something special for sure. Oh man, what a what a great opportunity! These these boys will never forget uh, these special days here in Dallas. That's Finagi now working in there. He'll put it off of one of the Mount Pleasant players, the MP USA MP squad. <coughs> it's interesting, and we'll tell you something here in a second. The head coach of the College of Charleston is here, his son, one of the assistants. And when the Mount Pleasant team came out, they were wearing College of Charleston colors. Now they're wearing nothing near that in the blue and white. <laughs> How about that? There you go. Ball sent out by Jorgensen. Sent up in the wind. That's going to be a, all the way to midfield. Some good defense, as we've said already. There's a the ball taken now, worked in. Working it around. That's going to be Volker trying to get it through. Now sending it out to the side is Petrie. He'll work through. A lot of, a lot of quickness there. A little guy who's really quick. Ball worked out to the outside. Friedrich sends it in. Back post. Let's see if they can get to it. It's bending away. And now they'll still have a chance if they can run over there and get to it before the sideline. Pressure put on by Maher. Maher Dangerous cross right there, but nobody there to push it home. We've seen that a couple of times. Saw that on a rebound also where no one there to follow it up. Right over in front of the parents. And here's a ball that's going to come in the side of the box. Ball sent back in right toward the goal. Let's see if it bounds away. It does. That's going to stay in, and for a little while, now it trickles across. Some of the older players over here watching and cheering on the teams. Ball set down on the corner. Looks like Panza will bring it in. A couple of substitutes. I don't know if they're going to be able to come in yet. Now it'll be a second. Panza puts the orange boot into it. Flicked back by Fonegi. Nice ball here to the side. That's Irvin. He'll work down the left side. Now he'll work it across to the middle. Has a little seam there. Broken down quickly, however, by number 56. That's Garrett Laney. Now these substitutes will come in, and we see the substitutes coming in fast and furious. Goal scored by Andre Van Thulenar, and you mentioned Laney. Uh, only three goals, well, four goals total for these two teams throughout the entire group play. Uh, shows how defensive-minded they are. Nice ball to keep that one in. Cleared back there briefly. That's going to be out of play. Out. Off the camera stand. Our cameraman is still standing, however. I'm sure the camera shook a little. That was not an earthquake, folks. Ball being tossed in by Sorelli, who is subbed in. And the number 14s, both defensive, numerical defensive, uh, the counterpart here, number 14 going against number 14. That ball cleared over into the other field. That'll go deep in the other field. Let's see if they can kick it out. They do. And we got a water break. That ball in the other field. Means we'll take time, about a minute or so. We'll allow the players to hydrate, cool off a little bit. We'll step aside as well. John Peters, David Miguel, and also Nick Case here with you. We'll be right back after H2O time.
And welcome back as we work on a couple of technical items here. We'll get David right back in here in just a second. In the meantime, working forward, Beedling now at the right in the midfield, working it out to the right, sending it over to Maher. Maher sends it in. It'll be scooped up by Jorgensen. Jorgensen in the orange. And if you look very quickly, kind of blends in with the red of Beedling. That ball punted out, and it's going to carry. You see the wind just bring that ball all the way to the side. It will bounce on the tent and the player's tent. They'll punch it out. It'll be a toss in here right in front of the bench. Substitutes coming in. And Samatov, that's the second time he's come in. So he's coming in, going out. Here comes a toss in. It'll be Sorelli. Little foot joust here on the side. And that one punched down Volker over there. Volker also a tall young man. These, these boys working hard and uh, getting the water break. Ball worked in, sent into the left-hand side of the box, and let's see if it trails through. Actually, they go ahead and kick it out to the side, so it'll be a throw-in. Looks like it's just inside the flag. And Coach Patel having some words with his players there as they come off. It'll be a toss-in on the side. David's back with us. David, it'll be interesting to see if they have a player who could toss that ball all the way into the box. That's always a good weapon. Well, it looks like they have uh, still chasing the ball down here. Went over on field number seven. We have four championships going on right now. This ball will be tossed in. I believe that's going to be Eldridge who tosses it. Ball batted around, headed down. Now let's see who can control it. Looks like that's going to be DeFalco. Falco moving back to his left, back over to Eldridge. A slide tackle there to maintain possession. Ball sent in. Let's see what happens in the box. Trying to get it out. There's a shot. It's going to be off to the right side. If you're the keeper, Jorgensen diving to his right, stretches all the way out and secures it. Well, you see uh, Jorgensen adjusts and keeps that ball in play. However, a nice header puts it right back across midfield and working it up is DeFalco. DeFalco now. Coach is hollering to give it up. I don't think they meant to the other team. <laughs> ball to the back. Pans on the far side. A little pressure coming in there from Friedrich. It'll be a quick toss, and you see everybody going to the right. There's Volker. He'll settle it. He'll bring it back against the grain. A little slide there and a good defensive move to take that one away. Nice challenge. Ball settled out there. That's going to be... Number 12, Friedrich, working hard on that far side, right in front of all the parents. Here's Samatov. If I'm not mistaken, he has subbed in twice. <laughs> Ball sent down toward the corner. Let's see what happens over there. And the Mount Pleasant team, they're going to get it in there. Getze scoops it up. Getze, not a big player. Ooh. Threw it right across the nose of Michael Petrie. And we're not horse racing. And Petrie <laughs> <laughs> won it by a nose. Uh, they said, what's with the long face, right? There we go. <laughs> so Petrie hustles back, makes a nice challenge. And, you know, you like to see the energy with these guys, yeah. these young players. I don't know if they ever get real tired. They're just balls of energy out there, just moving and moving. Here's Eldridge again. Ball cleared out. Oh, right on the flag. That will be a corner. That's as close to a corner <laughs> as you can get. Yes, sir. Looked like a golf ball hitting the flag. It hits the flag and sits there. And Chad Eldridge, along with Ethan Sanders, will be entering, will be attending South Fayette High School in the fall. So they know each other very well. That's a verbal commitment. <laughs> <laughs> There's a ball in the front post. Ball sent out, now being chased. Two players going after it, and Fonegi wins that battle. Going up against number 12 again, that's Friedrich. Fonegi sends it in toward the top of the box. Turns, there might be a shot. Here's a shot, deflected a couple of times. Now cleared out. Not completely, however. Beedling will regain possession. Fonegi looks for an opportunity. Only goal scored 
by the, this team this week. Fonegi put it in the back of the net. Panza now works it across. Pressure by Volker. Far side. Working it over there. Boy, a small dynamo moving across. I don't have the number. But here we go the other way. It's going to be Mount Pleasant. Nice through ball there. Sent out to the left side. Friedrich working it in. He's got Volker in the box. And a nice oh. defensive play, but it's in the face. And that will be a tough, tough ball. They've already asked for uh, somebody to come in and help. It was Owen Maher taking that one in the noggin. Hopefully he's okay. Yeah, the Coach Fabian's going to go out and check on Here comes the medical guy. And if anything, uh, if this medical crew learned anything on Wednesday, they'll just keep somebody here. Looks like we do have the medical crew immediately. That's a very impressive thing. And looks like he's good to go. He may come out here for just a moment. I think he'll have to exit just for a second and let the medical crew check and make sure he's okay. The good thing is and Maher's now. walking off under his own power, so hopefully he can get back into this one in a few minutes or so. Boy, it took a shot right in the face. And we've got a sub getting ready to come in, and uh, you can tell he's, he's probably more upset that he's having to come out of the game. But he's going to talk to the medical staff here. So much caution about head contact with the ball, with other heads, with different uh, hard contact in the head area. So uh, be a drop ball here. As uh, Checking in, number 10 is Joseph Pustover. That ball sent back over, so MPA, Mount Pleasant, excuse me, USA MP will have the ball there. The premier squad out of Mount Pleasant. Ball sent. Nice ball. Player that we haven't seen yet. Number 19 in there. That's Pedro Andre. Big collision there. Andrade went down on that one, but he's running up under his own power. Ball off on the left side. Worked in. Working it in is Irvin now. That ball deflected. Another foot race. Looks like Irvin's going to come up with it, and there will be a foul from behind. Physical game thus far, John, you called it. Expect that for the rest of the way. Well, that's a championship, and that's what, uh, that's what you're looking at right here. And they're still checking on the young man here who took that ball in the face. Maher. Yeah, Maher, Maher, Maher is, uh, is uh, getting a lot of attention here to make sure he's all right. Number 80 checking in is Cooper Van Byrer. Van Byra will be, uh, looks like he's going to the back post. This is a set piece. It has some potential. Ball sent in. Nice foot put in there. High up around the top of the, the goal and uh, knocked away nicely by Jorgensen. You had to time that one just right. And it'll be a throw in on the far side for Beedling. Beedling getting it in down low. Sends it back out. Here's a left foot sent in the box. Fonegi's up. Oh. And it's up and over. Boy, was that an optical illusion. Missed opportunity for Beedling right there. It was a great cross wow. into the box. You have cheers going up for both sides. The fact for the South Carolina squad that it was not a goal for the Beedling crowd. What an offensive rush that was. Yeah. Missed opportunities come back and haunt you later, so you got to put those away. Jorgensen now sends it out. Ball headed forward, midfield. Fonegi trying to keep that one down, but it's going to go out. Fonegi, a big guy, and uh, I think his brother must have played at Robert Morris University, one of the assistant coaches. That's where he uh, came in contact with my son. And it looks like, uh, let's see if we got a sub back in. The young man who yeah. took the hit was Maher. And a big collision there. Ball loose, now coming far. It's a three-on-two break. They're looking for the through ball. And now it just got a leg on it. They're going to step back, see if they can get something going on the other side. A lot of vision. It'll come. Uh, it'll be a kick for Mount Pleasant. Euros had the idea right there, but just couldn't make the proper through pass. It'll be another so set piece for We will probably call these Mount teams Pleasant. several names. Beedling, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, all these. And we'll also say Mount Pleasant, South Carolina, and USAMP, so you'll know who we're talking about. And Jorgensen has come all the way up to midfield. That way you can put more players up front. Let's see what happens. 
It's going to be a bouncing ball coming into the box. And it was loose briefly. Panza now puts a foot on it. Okay. Well, I see a little bicycle action over there, but they let it go on out. Here comes a chase down by Kennedy. <laughs> chase is his name. How about that? And a lot of, lot of contact there. And now coming the other way. Good ball. Ball sent up. Lost it briefly. That's Eldridge. Now he sends it over to Pustover. Back to Eldridge. Clicked out, and it'll be a toss in for Beedling. So we've seen. The Beedling team likes to play from the back. You can tell they don't, not shy about making short passes, even if they're under pressure. It's impressive. I can't give you the names, but we've had both regional presidents come in and talk to these two teams before the match, the South Carolina regional president, as well as the Pennsylvania West that uh, I think you met down here just a moment ago. David, so that's impressive seeing the support of the fans as we see fireworks go off at the big stadium. The stars of tomorrow on the field today. There you go. Ball worked around, that's uh, Sanders. Once again, a big player. Ball pushed away. Douglas over there working as well for Beedling. Ball sent back, defense is there, get a big foot on that one. Headed down by Panza. Not out, however. Coming forward is Friedrich trying to send it across. Here comes a foot race. That ball's going to come right to my partner. Good first touch. Second one was a little suspect. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a good spot, man. And they're going to change up who's going to toss this one in. The love toss never it. goes away for soccer. Petrie <laughs> will throw it in. Yeah, he can t he's a, he's a uh, football man. Down the line, right on the line. Let's see if they can keep it in. And it just goes across. That was so close. Official pulling out his microscope to see. Ball sent in. We got an offside flag up. And we'll go ahead. There we go, moving it up. Far side, Douglas. Douglas reversing field, taking it toward the middle. Working it across. Forgot something, the ball. <laughs> It's taken away. Boy, that's a trip over there, I guess. A foul called. And it'll be right there. I don't think Jorgensen will come up for this one. I think anything near midfield, though, we might see that throughout this match. There's a ball as on the far side. Now brought in to Friedrich. He'll take a whack at it. It goes out to the left. Let's see who's there. Panza's there. He's going to send it toward the corner. It'll be a throw in, probably about uh, 6.2 yards from the flag. <laughs> Got our, about three and a half minutes our, to go in the half. Our GPS over there says 6.2 yards. <laughs> Here's the toss in. Left-hand side of the box, headed down, tried to clear it out. Sent back in, nice ball there. Fighting for it in the middle. A lot of blue shirts in that box. Now coming back. And here comes a foot race. One over there by Pustover, briefly now sent out by DeFalco. That's going to be Jorgensen. He'll come out of the box. No, he won't. It'll make it all the way. A little bit too much pace carried it all the way in. Oh, the fans standing up. There's nobody. There's a, I would say of the uh, 100 fans over there, maybe 15 or 20 sitting. And the head coach, Sachin Patel of Mount Pleasant, saying that Jorgensen reminds him a lot of Peter Schmeichel. I'm not sure if you're... Familiar with him, played in the EPL for many years. There you go. Well, many of our fans out there listening in, I'm sure will know exactly. Here we go, nice ball. Comes through, that's Van Breyer. Ball in the middle, let's see if they can knock it down. Try to one-timer. Going after it now, two players. And a little grab of the shirt, no call there. And, uh, boy, Good several pressure touches. There. Quick toss the other way, trying to beat them back up the pitch. But the tell you DeFalco, what. good pressure there, preventing danger, and starting the attack, and going to the way for Beedling. Petrie on the other side, he hustles over. Petrie is a little pesky defender. He gets in there and breaks it up. Nice settle DeFalco there. DeFalco again. Good Sent ball. The far side, nice job. Working it up, that's going to be Douglas. Douglas rounds the corner. Stripped away and a... 
Big contact. Let's see what we got here. And the referee says they're waving off. They're going to wave off the corner. I think that's what that meant. Either that or he was trying to fly. So they wave off the corner because there was some extracurricular activity. Unfortunately, it's not in a position where we can see it. But you folks out there watching, as we say, you got the best seat in the house, the bird's eye view. Headed forward by DeFalco, now back by Petrie. And a ball, that's going to, oh boy, this could be problems. That's going to bound in the box. Let's see if they get it out of the air. A hit, gets he there on the spot, and he makes a save. Van Thorn wow. quite could not get all of it right there. Had a good chance. It was a tough opportunity, but Getty making the save. Had to play it out of the air, that one-timer. That was a little bit tough to get any pace on it, but Getty in the right place. A lot like, of times the keeper, you'll see him on the bouncing balls, will come out, and then the forward can just chip him. But Getty stayed back, play. was patient, made the save. Nice job by Getty. He's not a real big guy, but he's out there. And he's smart. He sees the uh, smarts on that play. And obviously, to not allow a goal this entire week. Neither incredible. one of these keepers. Amazing. Has given, given Absolutely amazing. Ball to the far side. Everybody hustling down, even the assistant referee. Tholinar's uh, all over the field. Just a big headache for be Beedling. Throw in. He's the motor up front for, for Mount Pleasant. There we go. We're going to toss it in on the far side. It'll be. Mount Pleasant and the defense being set up by Coach Fabian. Steps up, here's a toss, trying to get it across the defenders. It's gonna be a corner, not what you'd like to see if you're the defense. And the designated corner kicker, it looks like it's Kevin Pierre, number 48. And Kevin Pierre, of course, one of the favorites of, the, of Coach Patel. Says he reminds him a lot of Javier Macherano. Man, you got those names, man. That's good. That's why we're paying David the big bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite Gordon Hayward money, huh? <laughs> Here we go. Ball in the box. Midway. Header out by Panza. Coming back out. They'll try to send it right back in. Ball out on the right. Ball sent in. Back post. Going up. Header up off the top of the crossbar. Still fighting for it. Getsy comes down with it. And that was a tremendous play by Getsy and a, a squandered opportunity at this end now. Send it right back. Ball chested down, working it out on the far side. It's Douglas going against Jake Zenz. Now they'll turn, send it back to Douglas. He's got speed, he's working across the middle. Now he runs into the resistance, come the other way quickly. That ball headed, who's over there? The flag and is up. Offside flag, there we go. Referee explaining what the call was. They didn't return onside. So, shoe tying time. One of our, one of our officials' name was Bro Shoe. So they might check their Bro Shoes to make sure they're all tied up. They got a lot of orange cleats here. These guys uh, probably play on another club somewhere that uh, has an orange uniform. Maybe that high school that you were mentioning. Sub in. It's going to be Volker stepping in. So according to a reliable source, Jackson Irvin, Will Douglas, and Joseph Pustover will all be attending, all be attending West Allegheny in the fall. So Allegheny, one of the great rivers there in Pittsburgh. Yep. The Allegheny and the Monongahela come together to form go. the Ohio River. Your, your neck of the woods. So you got the you got the names of the you got the important <laughs> thing the names of the <laughs> soccer players down. I've, I'll give you the geography. Yeah, Johnny's got commentating and geography down. So yes, there I'll talk go. about Charleston Rivers here in a second, man. <laughs> you gotta Ball take to you gotta take me there, man. Midfield, that's right. Got the Ashley and the Cooper come together to form the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> there you go. Here we go, coming the other way. This team from Mount Pleasant taking on the team from Pittsburgh. Ball. Nice ball, ball out of the right. Volker running down the side. He'll, he's got some space, sends it into the box, behind everybody, and a good job by the defense. Fonegi, I think it was, got a foot on that one to clear it away. Another good rush here by the blue-shirted Mount Pleasant team, 
and I think we're going to halftime, and we are. And David, it was exactly a great, what great we ball thought. by Garrett Laney down the flank, but Finagi, like you said, with the timely challenge to force a, a nil-nil draw after 35 minutes of play. We'll, we'll be right back with more great soccer and geography information here from Frisco, Texas. Our score. 0-0 zero, zero. as we go to halftime. It's the 14 and under national championship. Let that settle in, folks. National championship. We'll be right back. All tied up. Today's games are brought to you by AE Engine Media Marketing, AmericanEagle.com, Bag Tags, Bubba Burger, Bullseye, CMYK, Cliff Kid, Expand a Brand, Front Rush, Fusionetics, Dick's Sporting Goods. Today's games are also brought to you by Major League Soccer, Nestle Nesquik, Nike, NSCAA, Positive Coaching Alliance, Premier International Tours, U.S. Soccer, Wilson Trophy Company, and Yokohama. The road starts here. The road paved by pain, sacrifice, and struggle. The road paved by passion and pursuit. The road where dreams come true. On this road, many will fail. And on this road, many dreams will fade. But as for you, what will be your fate? When there are seconds left and you are running on fumes, will you be satisfied with almost? Or will you dig down into the dirt, take one more step and make one more play, knowing that good enough isn't good enough, and all the blood, sweat, and tears have brought you to this moment, the moment where pain It was 1935, the year that Elvis and Sandy Koufax were born. It was a year of many firsts, including the first NFL draft, the first Monopoly board game went on sale, Social Security began, and Babe Ruth hit his last home run. In addition to these milestones, the National Junior Challenge Cup was founded in 1935, offering a youth competition for young men in the United States. The cup was later named the James P. McGuire Cup, after the late U.S. soccer president, who himself 
was quite a standout in his earlier days, winning the U.S. Open Cup in 1929. McGuire would lead U.S. soccer and earn an international reputation as an excellent leader. The Fermi Quiet Cup was started in 1935. It was the only cup that the United States Soccer Federation had for youth players. And uh, it was uh, uh, a very good competition. And uh, I, I can tell you, I mean, this was the highlight of my soccer career to be a champion in 1954. This storied cup, now the oldest trophy in youth sport. It has a history, it has a meaning, I think it has tradition. So I think it's extremely important for our competitions, uh, for all the age groups that kind of emulate the Maguire Cup. Winning the Maguire Cup is huge, uh, just because all that history that comes along with the oldest uh, trophy in, in youth sports period, um, that's really big for us. Who will write their name in the next chapter of the story Maguire Cup. good songs here to the crowd and they're uh, ready to go <laughs> and i uh, see a new keeper out there this is for beadling number three colby thomas checking in looks like jorgensen will still be in goal for the mount pleasant team now you'll see right here this is an interesting uh, tradition in soccer the assistant referees will run down and check the entire netting to make sure it's still secure and you know, i tell you david that was great defense this first half and uh you called it, you know, it's been a defensive it's struggle. Neither team gave up a goal in the preliminary stages, so, I mean, maybe one goal will win this one. We'll see what happens. Not much chance that net's messed up, is there? <laughs> Unless there yeah. was something at halftime. Had that one early chance, yeah. though. They hit the bar, and, and uh, Gatsy was able to recover. So we'll so. see if uh, Thomas can come in and uh, maintain that great goalkeeping legacy that this team has this That's, week. Excuse me, Getsy was a goalie before. Yes, right, right, Getsy, and now it's Thomas. And uh, Jorgensen's still back there. And Coach Fabian, as we said, talking a lot about, hey, really emphasizing defense. And we've seen it here in this first half. And referee looking at his watch. Yeah, he must have two watches, maybe three. There we go. And the whistle. And the ball almost taken away right off the first touch. Here we go. Over the head of the defense, uh, the midfielder there in the back. Ball headed down nicely by Chase Kennedy. We'll get a little different view here, of course, as they trade sides of the pitch. We'll see there's uh, Nicholas Euros who has that Good one ball. taken away. Nice ball in. Coming out, Jorgensen's Ooh. gonna go right through traffic. Boy, he had to avoid about three players, yeah. including two of his own, to scoop that one up. Very important always for the keeper to be attentive on those long balls. 
Boy, what a punt. 14 years old, sitting kicking a ball like that. Could be a field goal kicker also. Ball sent out to the side. Now worked back over there to Pierre. Just a note, it looks like Andrade got hurt and he hasn't checked back in. He took a, a nice spill early on in the first half. So Pierre came on and, well, not Pierre, but Andrade came off and hopefully he's okay. Worked on the far side. Nice blast off of, yeah, did it go in? And that's going to roll in. Shot. And what a shot awesome. on the far side. I believe the original shot was by Cooper Van Byrer. And now you see him celebrating here. And it's impossible to see who the was, number was. What a blast. Oh, my gosh. The ball hit the bar, came down. There was no signal originally by the assistant referee. And then the goal scored. So I'll tell you what. Uh, they're checking and to see right nice now. Nice blast on the off replay. of now. Did it go in? The score of the goal. There it comes in, and that's going to roll <laughs> in. And what a shot! Five, Twelve Good on the far side. The I believe the original shot was by Cooper Van Byrer hitting the cross. And now you bar see him celebrating here. Byrer, and I'm it's impossible to see who the number out. was. What a blast! That was like a oh Roberto, Roberto style, man. The ball hit the bar, came down, went the other way. Now Mount Pleasant. That's number 22 shot, working it up. Yeah. That's Van Tholenar. Splits the defense. Still with it. Into the uh, top of the box. Takes it to the right shot. Also, and knocked also. down. Nobody there no. to get the rebound. That ball sent in. It's going to be bounding toward the corner. Working it in. Let's see if it's a throw. It'll be a throw in right near the flag there for Chase Kennedy. Kennedy turns around. Now you've got some urgency here for the Beedling squad as they will try to lock it in here. That's headed in toward the box. Now turning, working it in. Defense is very pesky, however, they get that one out. Here's another ball coming in. Fonegi sends it in, but really just kind of a turnover there as Jorgensen will not have a problem with that one. You know, that shot was, was the best shot I've seen so far in this tournament. What a shot by Man, I, I believe that shot went in it. by Van Barer. It was on the far side. Yeah. I believe number 80 just, right across. It's just like the way Ronaldo hits it. No spin, just dead on. There we go. And uh, now working it back through the midfield. Here comes the defense. Trying to split the defense. Eldridge trying to get through there. I see it is. Uh, that's actually Douglas working there, trying to get the ball out. Referee right on top of it. Has a handball, but no call. That one's a foul. Very physical game. I think they were looking at probably two or three different possible uh, whistles there. And the coach is giving uh, the side referee a, an earful right here. Well, I tell you, that was uh, a lot of action there in about 10 seconds. And uh, the official had his hands full. Could have been a handball out in the middle as well. They thought there was some endangerment right here in the box. And finally, a shove to the ground results with this free kick. This is an opportunity, and Jorgensen will have his hands full. I believe that's Sanders who will put it in motion. Let's see. And he blasts that one clear into the upper part of the back net. DeFalco with an enthusiastic effort there, but. Was it DeFalco? That's who it was. Well I over the goal. I thought it was going to go up over the back stop there for a moment. And here comes uh, Substitute. Coming in for Euros will be number 19. That's Pedro Andre. There's your guy coming back in. Good. Good, good for him. Good to see that. His family from, from Veracruz, Mexico, and he was born in South Carolina. So Andrade right. looking to help out his team once again. And he will be back in the, in the mix. Rooking up is going to be Sorelli. Far side now sent up. There's that pesky play of Petrie working it up. And that one's a big collision there. That will send it out. There's, there's your guy, Thullenar, causing havoc again on the right flank, forcing well, another throw in favor of Mount Pleasant. It'll be tossed in there. See, I tell you what, you do not want Von, you don't want Van Byer putting another shot up like he did. Man, if you're if you're beetling, if you're Mount Pleasant, you would love that. Ball toward the top of the box, turning, shot in the. Ooh. Off the side, another optical illusion. <laughs> Man, yeah. good shot there. I believe that was Jake Zins with the left foot. Boy, just, just wide. 
Boy, it's just wide. I st <laughs> and what you're looking for is the, the net moving back in the back, and it even looked like the net was uh, moving around in the back. 1-0 one, uh, one nil the score here. Yeah. We're still pretty early in the second half. We will have uh, a water break coming up here halfway through. And uh, got a little bit ahead of himself there, and uh, the defense comes away with it. Nice flick out by Chase Kennedy. And that ball almost out to the midfield circle. They'll get, they'll get another ball in. Douglas now working it forward, working it forward. Taking it out to the right. Let's see if he works it in. He's going to bring it back the other way. Surrounded a little do -si do there. And now a shot in the Looking box, for... headed up in the air. Still some opportunity. Trying to settle it. Off to the side. And offside is the call. The dreaded checkered flag rises and the crowd falls down. So here comes Chase Kennedy. It was a good cross by Douglas, but <clears throat> he couldn't find Fanagy in the middle of the box, but they're yeah, hanging tough still. Beatling's still looking to get the equalizer. There's a lot of opportunities right there. Ball bounding around in the box. So you hear Coach Patel all the way from the other end of this field. We're at the right-hand side near the – we're past the Beatling bench, so it's uh, we don't see – there's that big foot that we saw a while ago. If I'm Byron, man, he can really put it out there. Chasing it around is Gage Rothermel. Rothermel now takes it back to the left, see if he can cross it into the box. It's a low one. Defense there, they'll send it out up toward midfield. And now these teams have become very offensive-minded. Beedling having to change their strategy some. Ball pickpocketed away. Jake Zins takes it to the Good corner. Ball. And it'll be cleared out, let the defense reset. Interesting fact about Coach Patel, he got his master's at Oxford, so. Wow. Got his master's in Oxford and coaching, coaching soccer. Right so. there in London. There you go. Well, you didn't get his, uh, like, his dissertation <laughs> and all that for us, did you? <laughs> that would be interesting. I'd say it has to do something with uh, maybe kinesiology or sports. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. And maybe he's a doctor. Well, he was born in, in Leicestershire, though, in England. I can tell you that. And the ball working around the box, still in there. Now coming out, there's going to be. A Andrade. shot put up by Andre. That ball, uh, Pierre now settled down. Here comes an opportunity, and they're racing down the pitch. Kennedy's going to be coming back. You have Jorgensen way out, and he's going to clear it away. And they're trying to throw it back in before Jorgensen can get back in position. A lot of guts there by Jorgensen. And now to come we have out. a substitute. Boy, yeah, he came way out. A lot out. of guts by Jorgensen to come out. Takes a lot of confidence. Action. Yeah, a lot of confidence, a lot of guts. Coming out will be number 17. That's Jake Zins coming in. Number 12 is Friedrich. Friedrich, who scored the goal off the rebound off that crossbar. And I need to, need to check that crossbar, see if it's still. Ooh. Looked like a dirty challenge there, but the referees may have missed that one. Referees looking at one another, and finally the assistant ref saying that it was a goal kick. You know, that ball's way out in the parking lot. They may want to just toss one in. <clears throat> Here comes the ball. The ball's rolling up uh, at the gate now. A young man, a future star, will hand it off. <laughs> He's playing in the six and under championship. All right. <laughs> I think I could probably compete with them. That's probably the highest level I could go. Here we go. Jorgensen places it down. He'll put it in play. Ball sent out toward midfield. Headed down nicely. Good job there by Sorelli. And there's, I'll tell you what, that was uh, Von Van Breyer. And now that's a, that one's from behind. That might be a, that might be a card if you're not careful over there. That's definitely a foul. They'll put it in play. I don't know if there's anybody that can put it all the way from that spot into the box. We're going to find out right here. I wouldn't be surprised, though, with the, the legs that we've seen out here. 14 and under. Here we go. High ball, top of the box, headed down, big collision. 
Now coming back out, Friedrich turns. Nice spin. Defense staying right with him. Ball sent forward. Little spun there, now coming back the other way. Friedrich has his eyes on it, but it's Beedling maintains possession, working it forward, looking for an option. Got one out here on the right. Working it in is Douglas. Douglas matched up by two defenders. Ball in the box. Jorgensen goes up, secures it, and will squat on top of it right there on the near post. Not sure if Irvin wanted to center to shoot it, but it almost worked. Jor Jorgensen is a, a very tall 14-year-old, I will say that. they got some big 14-year-olds on both of these squads, 13-14. He'll come out, he'll secure that one. They want to take some time off the clock, so they'll have to wait, and finally they come in, they'll pick it up. Now watch how far this punt goes. Here we go. Absolutely a massive leg here for Jorgensen. Jorgensen. Here he goes. Boom. That's a, that's a blast. Get some height on it. Headed down. Now coming the other way. Uh, that that might have been a nice. Uh, it, it was definitely contact, but I think there might have been a little F-L-O-P involved. What do you think? Uh, <laughs> it happens. It happens sometimes. Is that, is that a word that we can say here? I don't want to say it if I'm not supposed to. You know, it's like, I but this will, this will be a great opportunity right here. I think you get that in a lot of sports. So. Yeah, here we go. And uh, they're getting ready and setting up for this. I know it's, uh, I believe it's Panza is one of the players right there. And I believe Fabian also right there. Here goes. Ball in the box. Coming out, and there's going to be a lot of contact. Once again, a lot of guts by Jorgensen. Wins the ball, draws the foul. If he doesn't come out, could easily be the equalizer for Beedling. But Jorgensen, equal to the task here. Boy, like dominating his, his uh, six-yard box. He was going against a wave of yeah. red shirts. A, I mean, that was just three or four players coming in. He came yeah. right through to get that ball, having a little chat they now. They always say it. if you're going to come out, come out hard. Come out with your knees up and protect the six-yard box, and he did just that. And I think uh, the player right here in front of us, one of the defenders, took the worst of it as he found himself in the back of the net. That ball kept in. Friedrich chasing it down again. <clears throat> and once again, the Coach Patel with a – Great uh, record there in Mount Pleasant. And one of his assistants, the son of the College of Charleston men's soccer coach. On the other side, uh, Coach Fabian, I'm sure, uh, trying to figure out a way to crack this defense, get a goal scored here to tie things up. Ball sent in toward the box. It's going to be a down there. It's going to be a shot, and it's in the back of the net. And I'm not so sure that that will see if he turns around here. He's being surrounded by teammates. That looked just like the USA goal the other night in that uh, championship. We're going to check here. I think that might have been Von Beirer. Yeah. Number 80. As he took that ball and put the uh, ball in that back corner, a ball that was sent in possibly by Friedrich. I'm not sure he had the assist, but it was Jordan Morris on the USA squad against Jamaica who took a ball just like that, spun around and put the big foot on it. And right now we're waiting on the waiting on the Beedling squad to make the first touch. This is a big time lead here in this in this age group with the defense that they've shown. First two goals scored on this team all week. And we've seen them right here. And you gotta say that Cooper Van Byrer has been a big part of both of those. Scoring one and hitting the other one off the bar. Oh. Ball sent in, trying to get something going forward here as the Mount Pleasant squad will try to shut things down. Beedling will try to have a sense of urgency as they get the ball. They're going to try to they're going to try to score quickly here. Let's see if this works out. That's Panza now. We'll send it back. Back over there toward Fabian. Fabian far side, hustling up. Good job there, number 22, that's Van Thullenar. Ball sent Good forward, ball. and let's see. Let's see if they get a foot on it. Sent back toward the box and a save by Thomas. Like it Thomas. was Volker with the shot there, but 
The keeper, Thomas, avoiding the third goal right there. Well, you've got a uh, second keeper in there in Thomas. He had Getze in the first half. And, boy, you know, this Mount Pleasant team has just taken advantage. Great opportunities really created by the leg of Von Beirer. That ball sent about 30 yards onto the other field. <laughs> <clears throat> I think that ball may be all the way across. There's a shot, throw in, settled it, right back, little give and go, working it inside. There's working Douglas. down now, Chase Kennedy is chasing it, there we go, and good defense working in, there's Douglas. Douglas trying to get something going for his offense. There you go. My partner saved my life again. <laughs> And looks like another sub getting ready to come in. And this will be Th Getze. There's no I in team, in. so. <laughs> Getze will check back in for Thomas. And Getze wearing number 20. AJ will head back out into the goal area. And I don't know how much you can actually blame Thomas. I think that was just in some incredible plays, particularly by this, uh, by Von Breyer Ooh. trying to get it out. Here goes Volker. He's still got it. He's going forward. He's got speed now, working it across. Takes it toward the defense, goes down, and taken down from behind. Now, I tell you what, his mistake may have been to point at the other player. Let's see who's going to get the yellow looks like, card. Looks like it'll be Jake Sins. Yes, he does. He gets a bit, and I think it's because there was a clear path to the goal. Yeah, it looked like it was close to being the last defender, so it was. We go the. Uh, a, a crucial foul. If she could have gone on the breakaway again to make it three nothing. Just got word that back in Mount Pleasant, the uh, Charleston Battery have a field, black ball field, and uh, just a great location there. And then the, it's called the Lions Club, the Three Lions. And they have a, uh, they're showing this game live right there where people oh, nice. can, can uh, watch it in the uh, party setting. So, uh, so big, uh, hello to everybody in Mount Pleasant. Close shout to your out neck to of those the woods. folks on Daniel Island. How about that? There you he go. knows a bunch of islands. <laughs> <laughs> Looks and, like Pierre's uh, going to take this. Going to put you down the uh, far the side, set Pierre. Set piece for Pierre. Here it comes. Ball off to the side. Headed. Ooh. And a nice play by Getze. He'll scoop that one up. Trying to get something going here for Beedling. Now coming the other way. I can see why the coach says Pierre reminds him of Javier Macherano with Argentina and with Barcelona. That was a yeah, great cross into the box and almost converting goal number three for the team coach by Patel. I'm sure this uh, beadling squad, and what do we have here? It's a water break. Here we are halfway through. We'll take a break. We'll step aside. And uh, once again, a big score here, 2 nothing now for Mount Pleasant out of Charleston, South Carolina. Pittsburgh, Beedling Squad trying to fight back. We'll be right back after H2O time. And welcome back, folks, as we talk to our pr producer, Nick Case, giving me some more great information about that group up uh, watching at uh, the River, the uh, Battery Stadium. And they play the Pittsburgh River, River Hounds, kind of like the River Dogs, the baseball team in Charleston, but the Battery and the River Hounds. So we have kind of the younger version going on right here. 
And uh, boy, Beedling really will have to get something going here quickly. They're trying, they're trying to get it in. They've got a formidable opponent here in uh, Jorgensen and the defense of this Mount Pleasant squad. National championship online. Fabian now brings it across. To Douglas right here. Working over to Douglas. Douglas has shown some great maneuvers, but Chase Kennedy will clean it out, send it up to midfield, fight there, it'll go out of play. And the flag points the way. The long pass was intended for. It was correct. They, the official mistakenly pointed the wrong direction. The long pass was intended for, for Maher, so we'll see if. Throw in once again. Man, it's a helpless feeling if you're coaching here and you just can't get a, get a possession where you can bring it back down. 17 minutes still to go as we have the game next to us coming to completion. The 13 and under championship going on. Now sent forward. Fighting through there was number 36. That's DeFazio. Now turning with it is Beedling's number 15, Good Ethan ball. Sanders, out to the side. Ball sent down the side, clicked out over there. That'll be a toss in. See if anybody's got that long throw. It's a medium throw to Fonegi. Ball sent back over. Fonegi now working for some option to cross it into the box. Takes it to the left, double teamed. He's got two, maybe three blue shirts right around him. And well does done. a smart thing, gets that corner. Yeah, sometimes the best option is just forcing a corner, set up, see if he can do something off of a set piece. You know, a goal right here, this would be a whole new ball game, whole new match. Let's see who's pulling this one in over there. It's hard to pick up the, f that's really a dark corner over there as well. Here comes the right foot, bringing it in. A lot of heads going up, ball still around. Jorgensen fights out. And finally the defense will clear it out briefly. Sent back in, trying to turn it, but there's a wave of blue shirts now coming out. Douglas tries to send it back in. Sent forward. Boy, a little feisty player in there now. Good Number 25, Lucas Goldberg. Coming down also in there. Just checking in is Joseph Justo Haya. Goldberg turns. Little bitty guy in there fighting and going Ooh. after it. Boy, he puts it through on the far side. Boy, did he show some speed. You know, all of it started again by Pierre, the, the anchor of the midfield, the long ball. And they almost got a third goal out of this one. Goldberg, little jitterbug working around inside. You got a two-goal lead, getting everybody kind of clearing the bench here. Let's see if he's going to – he's been in, now he's coming out. He made a run. It's taking a little time off the clock as well. This Musical is chairs. Rothermel checking in. Friedrich checks in. Volker <laughs> checks in. Also coming in is Andre. It's almost like a uh, line change in hockey going on here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And so here comes the ball. It'll be put in play from the back. Probably down there is Fabian. Either Panzer or Fabian put that ball out. Ball bounding around. Here we go. Ball to the near side. Douglas. Ball squirting through. Now sent the other way. Good job there by DeFazio. Ball clicked back in on the far side. Fighting for it is... On the far side is Petrie. Boy, the fans really getting into it. I tell you, there's, there's only about 10 fans sitting now. And uh, if you see a lot of the folks probably, a lot of the folks on the left-hand side there as you're looking are probably out of the South Carolina area. I'm not sure how far players travel to play with this Beedling team as, all, as well as the Mount Pleasant team. But uh, we've seen players that would travel two or three hours to play with a great team like what you see on this field right now. Beedling as well as the USA MP. You can do anything you want if you want it, if you work hard enough. Here comes the ball in. Let's see who gets to it. It's going to be the defense sending it out on the far side, headed down. Oh. Well, let's see what we've got here. This could be another. Got it another, is another yellow another card. Another caution, yeah. Looks like it was. And we'll see. Uh, we see some arguing going on. And I'm going to see. I'm not sure that there might not be more 
talking to right here and the official writing that one down. It's impossible for us to see exactly what happens from this distance, but it, it's obviously right in front of the fans. They're not happy either way about that. The yellow card pulled. That yellow card given to number 11, Eldridge. Ball sent deep. Now the Beedling the, trying to bring it back this way. Friedrich there, he'll work it up the side. Now still fighting for it down the side. Headed down by one of the midfielders. Now the defense of Chase Kennedy. Van Breyer sends it up. Now coming the other way. Here's a ball out to the left. Almost got through. Still fighting for it. Working hard. That's Petrie. Over there. There's now Sanders. Sanders working at it. Let's see if they can carry one down this side. Send it back in toward the middle. There's Fonegi. Now ball down the side. It will trail out. It'll be a throw in for Beedling. Mount Pleasant can get in close. Looking and at the Beedling looking to get get closer on the on the score here, but still two nothing. Get a little through ball there. Jorgensen outside the box. He's gonna back up, back up, back up. He'll now pick it up. Good hustle there by Douglas trying to get in there in time. Let's see, here comes a big boot again. Interesting to see how Mount Pleasant plays the last Eight minutes of the match with a two-goal lead. Well, let's see. They may not change anything if they played this well defensively. It's amazing <coughs> that no one has scored on this team. These two, these same two teams fighting to a 0-0 draw, and that was a uh, hard-fought battle as a kick coming in here for Beedling. When you go the entire week, clean slate, that's something. That's amazing. And, that uh, is amazing. Trying to get the ball in, trying to do something, or getting some subs in here. Coming in for Beedling. Let's see, we got number 12 checking in. That's Austin Marmol. Checking in, looks like number 39. Maybe let's see. Marmol had the chance in the first half, but just couldn't put it away. He wasn't able to get all of it early on in the first half. Patrick Martin also checking in. For see if Marmol can do something for his team here late in the second half. Putting a big foot on it, sent it out. There's Jackson Irvin. Haven't called his name a whole lot, but they'd love to see him get a hold of one here. Ball worked on the far side. Andre, who had that injury in the first half, that ball headed down by Pierre. Now Sanders working with it. There's Marmol. His numerical counterpart jumping in there, number 12, Friedrich. That ball gets by, but uh, Chase Kennedy, ever-present. Volker back. Here comes Marmol trying to send it forward. They're just going to keep sending that ball deep, it looks like, David. Ball on the far side. Fighting it around there and now turning. I see it's right on that line, apparently. Still in on the playing surface. They'll come back. There's Pierre ball. again. Pierre is uh, very quick and uh, has a nose for the ball. Ball down low. Shot. Getsy. Looks like Volker got the shot off, but be Easy to Getsy. call him Getsy. Gutsy also. Very gutsy. Ball sent back in. Didn't get much on. It's in the midfield. Trying to get something going here if you're the Beedling crowd and coach. Coach Fabian trying to get his team spurred on. Here comes the ball forward. They put it right to the feet of the defense. Long ball for Volker. Flag is up. Flag up on the far side for offside. And the assistant referee right here saying there was no offside. So substitute coming in will be number 22. Ted Van Thulenar. Thulenar having been a big part of this team. We've got several substitutes as we see three of the blue-shirted players coming off. Thulenar in. 17 is Jake Zins. Also checking in. Looks like number six back in there is Travis Samatov. Samatov, of course, started the game 
from Mount Pleasant as they look to capture a national championship. Ball going back, trying to break through. Here comes another ball that's uh, batted away, and the defense just seems to be right in the right place. Got a nose for the ball, like we said. They got the defense set up, trying to work a ball through. Look up, you've got three or four blue shirts around you at all times. Amazing job there in getting that ball through. Ball headed toward the box, sending it out. High kick there, sending it in, headed. It's Douglas working with it. He gets run over. Now this is an opportunity, and you've got to be careful right here. You know, Douglas has played a really good game so far. It seems like every time he gets to the ball, oh, there's three Mount Pleasant players around him. He's well, a marked a good, man out there. Good opportunity here. It's 2-0. A, it's a goal right here changes a lot. Let's see what we've got as uh, trotting across. Coach is telling him, make sure you don't clear the back of the net. Looks like number 11, Eldridge, will put it up with the left foot. Could It'll be, be bending could in. Could be straight on goal right here. You never know. Could be... He has, he has the left foot. There it is, bending. It's loose in the box. It's now contained briefly. They'll put it back in. And that ball's going to go through, and it'll be a goal kick. DeFalco tried to get ahead on that one, but just out of his reach. Smart coaching, as they said, that we need to get back on side and then have an opportunity to rush in again. But that kick just didn't give him the opportunity to deflect. Jorgensen now has played a great match. Got a good foot. Look at that ball. Man, that ball's deep. We got a little shove in the back to get free. Referee tell him to bring it up a little closer. Got to be wondering what's going through the minds of the players of Mount Pleasant as they can almost taste the championship here. Big time, big time. Folks, the fans, the, the friends watching. That ball high toward midfield. Ball headed back toward number 17 out there. That's Zenz. He'll send it on up. Flying up the pitch is Martin. He gets over there. That ball will be cleared out into the couple of the two or three fans that are sitting. <laughs> ball sent back in quickly. And it looks like Mount Pleasant, the premier team out of Mount Pleasant, the 14 U boys trying to score again. And this team, of course, coached, as we mentioned a couple of times, by Sachin Patel. He's been two years with this group and now on the verge of leading them to a national championship. So we'll see what happens in the last couple minutes of this one. An exciting time as uh, you think of the many hours that uh, both these teams, their families, the, their uh, brothers and sisters taking them to practice early in the morning or late in the afternoon, maybe in the nighttime. And I'm sure both places have great facilities. Looks like it's going to be Pierre taking this one. It'll be the left foot coming up. Here we go. Another opportunity is here's the left foot. Sent out toward the top of the box. A little spin move there. It gets away. And now Beedling coming the other way. And working around. Nice move there. Moving forward. And now finally the defense puts it out. Good challenge there. Nice job. That was good challenge there, but by Maher. Ma there he is. Took a shot early on, right to the face. He's shown some guts getting back in there. All these guys uh, just—it's one of those games kudos. that you, don't, you just don't want to miss, no matter what. Injuries. Yeah. Pierre fever. looks like he's even a little gimpy right now. As the ball rolls around. Yeah, it's, uh, players would come out here in a wheelchair if they had to. <laughs> Good ball. Hey, nice one in. Here we go. Here's an opportunity. Cutting back. Right foot. Shot. Score. And a good shot it was by number 24, DeFalco. This match is not over. DeFalco Ever. really patient in front of the goal there. Jorgensen staying on his line, and DeFalco giving Beedling some life still at the very end of this match. I'll tell you what, there's still life as uh, got that long ball that went through. It was a foul ball. Nice right foot to the bottom left of the goal. Another sub coming in. It's Fonegi checks in. Got the USA MP cheer going up from the folks cheering for the blue. You got the folks cheering for the red for Beedling. 
And here we go. Ball sent back. There'll be a lot of pressure here. That ball sent deep. Van Fullenar again. You're going to have to a secure now. You're going to kick it on out of there. Getz, he will try to get it up the pitch. And it's a nice knuckleball. It's going to be headed back. Douglas Fonegi in there. He puts it down. Ball sent out to the side. That'll take some time off the clock as uh, some of the officials from U.S. Soccer gathering around over here near the scorer's table. But this match is not over yet. Beadley not over yet. Trying to bring something, a magical moment here at the end of this match. They settle it. They're working it. Taken down, and here's an opportunity. Again, DeFalco creating something late in the match. Let's, here comes an opportunity. Let's see, it's going to be Eldridge. Eldridge is going to put it in motion. Let's see if the keeper goes in on this last chance right here. No, it looks like he's going to. Let's see what like we got here. Stay we, back. we got 10 feet. He's given the 10 yards off here. Said 10 feet, 10 yards for the wall. And now Jorgensen will try to manipulate his defense to get it ready. And you see Petrie in there also working to try to head things up. Here's an opportunity. Ball in, Lowen still bounding around, still in the box, comes to the outside. They're coming the other way. And we got a substitute coming in. Here comes the sub in. That's going to be Friedrich. He'll step in. Friedrich, who got the first goal for Mount Pleasant earlier on in the second half. Blast down the side. It'll be a throw in here for the red team beadling as the fourth official now talking to Coach Fabian. Not happy about a couple of the calls that he's seen here near the end of this match. Moving forward, trying to get something there. Here comes Von Beirer. And they turn, take it the other way. And you see in the middle, Jackson Irvin with his hands up saying, I'm open here over here. Be a toss in. Important ball time, just keep back. your cool if you're Mount Pleasant. Here's a ball sent deep game. down the line. You've got Fabian and you've got Panza over there. Looks like he went down. Ball sent forward. Let's see who's there to receive it. It'll be headed down by USAMP. Another ball sent in. Flicking it back. Here's an opportunity. Doesn't get through. And Another set piece. My goodness. This could be the last play of the game here, John. That's a big play, and we got a yellow card coming out. And the yellow card, I believe that card will go to Nicholas DeFazio. Is that what you saw? They couldn't that's, couldn't uh, really see from my angle, but hard to see exactly. But this is another chance. It looks like it won't be all Eldridge this time taking it. Looks like it'll be. It's Fabian. Coach's son, Mason Fabian. See if you can Graduates get the equalizer. In 2022. Ten yards back, the wall set up. You see a couple of walls being set up. At the all in, all important wall right now is in orange, and that's Jorgensen. There's Fabian's attempt. And it's going to be too high and did not have a chance. So upset at himself. You know, adrenaline is flowing at that moment, and it's hard to just hold up and keep that ball in play. Fabian upset at himself, but they've got to turn their heads. They might have a chance here to send it right back in. Substitute made. Coming back in, number 19. Andrade back on. Back in. Ball headed. And there it is. That's going to be the match and the championship. It'll go to the Mount Pleasant Premier Squad, and you see the hugs, the excitement, and the cheers, and a few fans running out on the field. And the players, first of all, they're going to run over there and acknowledge to their fans what this means to them. And uh, hats off to Beadling. Boy, what a gutsy group they, they are. They showed a lot of heart. Battling back, they could have easily just given up. They did not. There was no goal scored all week on this Mount Pleasant squad until that very last few minutes. By DeFalco. And DeFalco, I mean, they, Beadling being down 2-0, they still come through and they score. 
So hats off to them. Jorgensen, fantastic job. And now the uh, Classy presentation. Classy gesture here by Patel. Yeah, coming over. Congratulating the hands. opposing side. Absolutely. Coach Lundy, Coach Patel, we watch that. You see the agony of defeat. You see the thrill of victory on the far side. And these two teams will gather together. And, uh, boy, I'll tell you what, two great cities, Pittsburgh, team of Beedling, Mount Pleasant in the Charleston area right there with the great soccer legacy, the Charleston Battery, the Pittsburgh River Hounds. And you see right here the hug out there of, uh, boy, the coach is getting a little handshake and a hug. <laughs> he did not get a hug from the lady. I said, I need a, need a hug from the lady, you know. I'll tell you what, uh, proud, proud folks, families, parents. Uh, what, a, what a tremendous match, and what a tremendous week for these guys. And, you know, this uh, Beedling team, they're going to go back. They'll regroup and say, hey, we're going we're gonna to work hard. We're gonna, our goal will be to get back out here next time to be able to hoist that trophy that they're going to see here in just a moment. Yeah, you can, Chad Eldridge and Ethan Sanders, as we said earlier, will be going to South Fay, and they'll, they'll be having lots to talk about in the years to come and in the, in, in the beginning of their lives and now national champions. Well, this is a, this is a learning moment for both teams. You know that uh, on, the, on the one side with the, the red squad for Beedling, they know that this, this down right now will not be forever. They're going to rise right back up. But you know on the Mount Pleasant side, this high won't last forever either. They're going to have to come back out, practice, and work hard. You can't rest on your laurels. You have to take it and go with it. And well, one thing um, I can tell you is winning does get contagious. So this is a, a good absolutely. feeling for them that they definitely want to savor and taste another well, I, time. I got to say, in, in, the, in Mount Pleasant is a great uh, area for soccer. Wando High School, another great place as well. So uh, I'll tell you what, we say congratulations to Mount Pleasant. And, folks, we're going to step away here. The fans will rejoice, and uh, they'll see the presentation. But, uh, David, great working with you. I know a couple more championships tomorrow, and uh, have fun with that. Thanks, John. It was great working with you. Hopefully we can see you again in the near future. And thank you for all of you listening out there and watching out there. So great Th stuff. Thanks for joining us again. Congratulations to Mount Pleasant and to Beedling as well. Thanks to Nick Case, our producer. And we'll sign off now from Frisco, Texas and the National Youth Soccer Championships, Mount Pleasant champions of 14U.